My name is Anna Sigmund. I am a new assistant professor of chemistry and I will be teaching biochemistry and organic chemistry. I was drawn to Penn State Brandywine for a couple of reasons. First of all, I'm passionate about teaching and there is an emphasis on excellence in teaching at Brandywine in addition to doing research. Also, I'm very attracted to the small class sizes because that enables me to really get to know my students and I really enjoy gaining personal relationships and mentoring students in their academic careers. So I got my PhD in chemistry from the University of Texas at Austin and there I studied the synthesis of organic molecules. I also worked on some organometallic chemistry and then I did something a little bit different after that. I went to law school. So I got my JD at George Washington University in DC where I focused on patent law. While I was there, I interned for the chief judge at the Federal Circuit, which is the appellate court that hears all the patent law cases. And then after graduating, I worked in the private sector in patent law, focusing primarily on chemical innovations. After I did that for a while, I decided to return to academia and I was a visiting assistant professor of chemistry at Washington College in Chestertown, Maryland on the Eastern Shore for about three years. And I've really enjoyed the transition to academia and I'm excited to now be in this position at Brandywine. I have some teaching research interests and some experimental research interests regarding teaching, taking taking the advantage of my law background, I'm interested in developing interdisciplinary approaches to teaching chemistry. So for example, in the spring semester at Washington College, I developed a special topics course for chemistry majors and minors on patenting chemical innovations. And there we primarily used a variety of chemical patents to learn about various chemistry topics, but also to learn about the business side of chemistry, the innovation side, um, and it really helps to show students the real world aspects of chemistry when you bring chemical patents into your curriculum. I'm also interested in synthesizing flavonoid derivatives. So flavonoids are organic compounds that are found in a variety of naturally occurring plants and vegetables and chocolate, and they've been reported to have a variety of health benefits. In particular, I'm interested in making novel flavonoid derivatives and looking at their anti-aging effects. And also, there have been some recent papers that show that flavonoids also are promising therapeutics for COVID-19. So I, given the current pandemic situation, I'm interested in also testing these flavonoids as potential therapeutics for COVID-19. Hi, my name is Joseph Honer. Uh, all of my peers, please call me Joe. Uh, I am an assistant teaching professor at Penn State Brandywine. I am uh, teaching classes in both accounting and finance across both disciplines. I was interested in teaching at Brandywine because first I come from the area. I was born and raised in Delaware County, Pennsylvania. Uh, secondly, I was interested in teaching because when I was in undergraduate, uh, in both my undergraduate education and my law school education, the teachers with the most real life experience are the ones who impacted me and helped me the most. So that's how I got interested in teaching. Um, and I was very happy to find a home that was close to where I grew up. My background consists of getting an undergraduate degree in, uh, as a double major in accounting and finance. Uh, upon graduation, I started working for the Department of Defense. I was, a, uh, I was a governmental auditor for roughly 10 years. While working for the Department of Defense, I attended Rutgers Law School at night. Upon graduating Rutgers Law School, I <clears throat> uh, took the bar exam in both New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Subsequent to passing the bar exam, I got hired by the FBI to be a forensic accountant. I worked as a forensic accountant for roughly eight years for the FBI, and now I am clearly a full-time teacher as well as I own my own tax and consulting business. Uh, my name is Shen Fang Tan. Uh, my title is a t uh, Assistant Teaching Professor in Engineering. The teaching, uh, uh, assistant teaching position, when I saw this uh, uh, job uh, posting on a um, website, I'm interested in because it matches my background um, and my experience also match this position. 
And when I went to the, the interview, uh, I was so uh, welcomed by the faculty there. And also the campus is uh, so beautiful. I, uh, I like this position and I like the uh, campus and I like the culture there. Um, I graduated from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Um, my major is electrical and uh, computer engineering. I have um, experience in teaching at the University of Maryland Eastern Shore as a, an adjunct professor. I also uh, worked for the um, Delaware County Community College three years as a um, assistant professor there. Uh, my name is Allison Murphy. Uh, my title is an assistant professor for information sciences and technology. And this semester I'm teaching two classes, um, IST 210, which is our introduction to data management, including how students can uh, build and use databases. And I'm teaching IST 301, which is information and organizations, exploring how different types of organizations can use systems to help them analyze uh, data, make decisions, as well as how to keep them safe with things like cybersecurity. What I'm most excited about teaching at Brandywine is I'm actually coming from University Park where I've taught at Penn State for five years and my classes were really big. Uh, there were around 80 students to 90 students. My biggest class was 150. So the fact that I can teach in a class with 20 to 30 students, which is a very different style of teaching, um, a lot more one-on-one -on -one time with students, a lot more fun discussions and activities is something I'm most looking forward to. Um, I also think the location of Brandywine being so close to Philadelphia and King of Prussia, where we have a lot of different IT companies and consulting firms, offers a great opportunity to potentially partner with them or bring in guest speakers, even through Zoom, um, where they can share some of their experiences and help our students navigate where they'd like to go for their careers. So I was actually a Penn State IST student myself. I always love to tell my students that, that I was actually sitting in their seats. Um, I graduated in 2004. I was actually the second graduating class of the IST major. And after that, I went into a leadership development program with Johnson & Johnson, um, where I eventually became an IT project manager and compliance manager. So I got to apply the things that I learned in IST directly into the workforce, which is exciting to come back and teach it, because then I get to kind of explain different scenarios or situations where we actually used a lot of the concepts that we're talking about in class. Um, and while I was working with them, I did notice that although we were building good systems on the back end, the part that they didn't always see, they were sometimes frustrated with the user interface, the front side that they had to work with. And that's what actually inspired me to leave industry for a bit and go back and get my PhD, um, where I studied health information technology and got to work directly in hospitals, uh, working with the patient care teams in the emergency department and in inpatient units, understanding how they use systems, how they both help and hinder their processes of working with patients, and um, got to understand how to take that research and propose ideas for how we enhance the usability of those systems. So my research interests are at the intersection of healthcare and technology. Um, and while I was a PhD student, my research mostly focused on hospital systems. Um, as mentioned, kind of working with patient care teams to see how the systems can both help and hinder them and how we can improve specifically the front end of those systems, the part that the doctors and nurses and all the other staff tend to work with the most. Um, and now I'm kind of also shifting into personal health. So understanding how all of us as individuals can use technology just on a daily basis to help make healthier decisions um, and the types of impacts that that can help have on us both physically and mentally. So my name is Terry Wong, and uh, I'm a new assistant professor uh, in communication arts and sciences. So I'm going to be teaching the business and professional communication classes, organizational communication classes, and also the effective speech class. Prior to coming to Brandywine, I was teaching at Arizona State University. I was also in um, a similar capacity teaching very similar classes. But Something about me is I've not always been in academia. So after graduating from college, I was actually in market research for about three and a half years. So my research interests are primarily in the areas of culture, identity, communication. One of the things that interested me in teaching at Brandywine is the size of the campus community. So I've always been teaching in large institutions uh, where there is a large cast department, uh, the, facu the faculty and student body is huge. And so 
the reality of working in such large institutions is after a student graduates from my class, I never see them for the rest of my life. And I feel like I want a longer connection with another human that I'm working with. So the intimate size of the Brandywine campus uh, teaching, learning community is something that really attracted me. So I'm an avid martial artist uh, and uh, I've been training in the Japanese martial arts of Aikido for about 10 years now. So that's something that I'm passionate about. So if you don't see me in professional clothing on campus, you might see me in my martial arts garb. Uh, that's something I've been known uh, to do on campus. Uh, I also like gardening uh, and I like planting like edible plants. So that's a passion of mine.